Hi everyone, um, I'm doing this by request. Uh, several people have asked how I flocked this, um, these flowers that I shared in the, I think, Friday Fun Bits this past week. So I'm going to show you how I do that. And I picked out these gorgeous roses from Wild Arctic Crafts. I'm just going to grab a bunch. Oh, for anyone who didn't see, that's the code number. And it's a pack of 50. And I check to see which one is the one that's wound. And then pull them apart. So I have um, some flocking that I got last week at AC Moore and at my local scrapbook store. And I think the ones that I got last week was Doodlebug Designs. They had been marked down there and it was a pink, purple, and a red. But I also have some Studio G flocks that I've kept in this little... Huh? One just fell on the floor. Hold on. Okay. And these come in packs of four. They're from Studio G and, uh, you know, the flocking is almost identical. So there's one little trick. I have a plastic fork. Sometimes it can get compacted, so what I'm going to do is I already have my little pieces of paper ready for when I sprinkle the flocking on already. And I have several because I don't want the colors to mix. And I've tried very, a couple of different glues, and let me show you. I tried this black rose with pink flocking. It's a really interesting effect. See, that almost looks blue. It's one of those deep colors. So I'm going to show it to you on this blue one. Now, in terms of what to use to adhere the flocking, um, I have glossy accents, which I did try with this green, green rose, which worked out fine. I've tried the quick dry and it's too quick. Um, in order to for this to be effective, you need a little bit of work time. So um, I've tried very successfully the Tombow Mono Multi, in part because where I'm going to apply the glue for the flocking to stick, you need kind of a finer point. So this is a nice applicator as well as the glossy accents. Now, if you're doing a lot, I don't know if you're going to want to waste glossy accents, but it'll definitely have great adhesion. So I'm going to show you both. So I have my glossy accents resting off to the side. I'm going to show you the mono first, mono tombow. And let's see, what color should we choose? Let me show you the green, because it really does have a very nice effect. And this is the moss green that I used. So before we apply the flocking, you need to apply the glue. So I'm going to grab a rose and luckily and very conveniently the roses come on stem so you don't have to get your fingers dirty. I just hold it by the stem. I'm going to put these aside so I could show it to you. So I have the mono tombow. Let me see if I could zoom in a little. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the glue and then kiss the tips of the petals. I'm going to add just enough glue to the edges so when flocking is added, see that? There'll be a little border of the flocking. I'm just going to go around the whole rose and you have a little more work time with this glue. It's not a quick dry so you have opportunity to do all the petals before the glue sets up. Which is why I think the quick dry doesn't work as well. Because there's such a you know small window. And all I'm going to do is twist my wire to where I need to hold on to it and then apply the glue. And this will be easier for when you do it because I'm doing it 
behind a tripod and a camera. You get the idea. I just want to do all of them before I go to apply the glue, uh, the flocking, because it's easier to do this once, once you have all the glue in the places you want the flocking to appear. Okay, one more petal right down here. I think I have them everywhere that I would like the flocking to be. So I'm going to put this off to the rows down for a minute and get the flocking ready. So I have a piece of paper that's ripped in half and then folded in half with a nice sharp crease in the middle which is going to make getting the flock back into the jar easier. And all I'm going to do, and you can use your pick for this, I'm just going to poke it a little so when it comes out it doesn't come out as one big clump. Because you know these have a tendency to settle, it's fine particles. And actually, you could use, where is my little spatula? This is a slice pickup tool, but you could totally use that to add it on. So let's try both techniques. So, oops. So I have my rose. And I could take a little bit of the flock and then tap it on. Or I could just take the entire container And sprinkle like you do spices, because you don't, you know, you're not really wasting anything. You just want to make sure that the flock sticks to where the glue has been touched on the petals, and it looks like it's completely covered. But once you can turn upside down and tap it off, and again, you're not really wasting anything because this goes back into the container. So I'm just going to tap this off and then off my finger. And as you can see, it's just ever so slightly kissed with the flocking wherever we had the glue. And all you have to do is set this aside to dry. That's it. Okay. One I just did. So I'm going to let this set up and show you that you can get this back into its little container. You're not going to be able to get every single particle. It's not quite as um, easy as embossing powder, but it's the same idea. Now, I tried the little plastic trays, and it gets stuck all over it, so I would not recommend that. So I'm just going to try to get it into the... That's not too bad. Tiny little loss. There you go. So that's the green one. Uh, and then I'm going to do this lavender one. Or maybe we could do the red holidays. So I'm just going to put this one aside along with its paper because I don't want to mix the colors. And I'm going to wipe off the tips of the, to of the tools just to make sure I'm not transferring any of the color. Pull out one more rose. My little handle ready. Have my little piece of paper, red flocking that we're going to use, and we don't have to really do anything with this because we could just shake this up. We know it's not going to be too clumpy, and then whatever comes out of there, we can get back into the container. So I'm going to show this one with the glossy accents. Make sure that it's flowing. Yep, and apply it to the same the same way to the edges kind of feel like we should have some music playing but YouTube doesn't always like music in the background so I actually turn off music when I do videos for that reason so I'm just going to kiss the tips of the petals because that's the way I like the flocking to appear. Turn it. 
get these. And the more glue you add, the more flocking will stick. If you want the flocking to be um, permanent, like if you want to prevent any rub-offs, if it's going to be on something that might get touched or will have wear, you can always spray it with fixative after it's dried completely. Um, it's a art fixative in a spray can. Or if you don't have that, you can always do a um, little squirt of hairspray. And I think I have one more petal down here. I'm just going to pull back the green and get this last petal. And we'll spread the red flock. And... Sorry about the dogs. Moses, enough! He wants to participate in everything. Someone must be walking up the street. So now I'm going to take this flock and then sprinkle it on. Remember, it's only going to stick where the glue is. So you want to make sure that you get all the little nicks and crannies. And you're not really wasting because you're going to tap off the extras and it'll stick only where the glue is. I think I might have missed a petal which is evident when you put the flocking on so I can go back and add it. And actually since I already have all this flocking here on, if you try to dip into the flocking you stand the chance of making goopy and you won't be able to reuse what's on the sheet so it's probably just best to do it this way. So tap it off and there you go. So there's the glossy accents. This is the Tombow glue and I have on my blog um, photographs close up of um, some the flowers that I have already flocked and it's it could be messy but if you have a production line going like if you apply the glue to one or two flowers so long as you're not using the quick dry kind of glue you could certainly flock several at a time you know flowers at a time if you have greater spaces that you want to flock you can always use spray adhesives if you're trying to cover like um, an image of a teddy bear because that's what you know those little flock teddy bears that's what they are they're just coated plastic with glue and flocking added to it. So, if you have any questions for me, um, um, please leave me a comment. Otherwise, don't forget to stop by my blog that has all the photographs of the details and the flowers close up. Um, thank you so much for stopping by and taking a look. And if you have any particular requests about how to do something, um, please leave a comment below or you could always leave that on the Friday Fun Bits. Thanks for watching.